Naomi really dislikes the word poetry in, in relation to her work. And I fall into that so much that I'm like, oh, you know, the poetry, I can't help it because it is poetic how she writes. You know, it's just normal people speaking, working people. Actually, a lot of the time, the things that they say are very simply poetic and beautiful without needing to be or trying to be. I mean, it's so brutal and so beautiful. Mm. It's like harrowing. I'm so excited to see it. Great. It's heartbreakingly harrowing. What I love that Naomi does a lot in her writing is that she uses history to talk about today. Like she's, you know, not so interested in kind of finding the nitty gritty of who we are now. It's, it's always how, where have we come from and where are we going to? And so I love the idea of using the 1950s to talk about where we are today and where we're going because, you know, through all this research and everything we've done, a lot of the stuff hasn't changed or it's deepened or it's taken a sidestep or it's turned into something else. But a lot of the problems are still there and we've just perhaps forgotten how to look at it in, in a close way. The play is set uh, in, a, in a motel outside Boston in the late 70s. Mm -hmm. And essentially, it charts the dynamics between five pairs of people. And the conceit of the play is that each of these five encounters, which are going on um, in separate rooms in the motel, all happen theatrically, simultaneously on stage in one room. Wow. wow. Um, and all of these pairs are, are, are at um, rather disparate places in their lives. The play is not explicitly political, mm -hmm. and it's not, um, you know, it's post-Vietnam, it's not about Vietnam, um, but there is someone who served in the play. Mm -hmm. And I think even though the play is not about the politics, I, we, I think you feel deeply aware of the political context in which it is embedded, mm -hmm. um, which is a divided America, an America in transition. This play is set half in a prison. And Naomi's very specific about the fact that this is not a prison play. It just happens to be the setting where these this friendship kind of starts off. But, you know, a lot of our research came from Michelle Alexander's amazing book, New Jim Crow, which talks about mass incarceration of America and black America specifically. And so that was kind of amazing for us to, to delve into that and to really discover. And, you know, the working world where it is still impossible, no matter how you work, for some people to have the American dream or to, to make enough, just enough to get by and to provide for yourself and, and those you love. Pete is a very much very much writing in a kind of colloquial American vernacular that is deeply of its time. Pete does not choose to examine people at the kind of most explicitly landmark, highest stakes moments of greatest consequence. Mm -hmm. The moments in which we find ourselves that are most articulate saying exactly what we want to say, exactly the moment that we mean to say it. Um, but instead, um, at these kind of smaller, seemingly inconsequential, but utterly transformative moments in the lives of very ordinary people. And what's it been like working with that ensemble, having I mean, 10 with that the stretch of ages? More and more every day, watching the stories unfold in tandem on stage, I'm finding kind of incredibly moving actually, like incredibly moving to see um, like love and attraction beginning um, and mortality and all of the breaking points in, at, at, at different eras. Um, it just, I find it incredibly moving. The, the, the relationship of form to content, that conceit for me, the play fills me with um, just this kind of heightened awareness of how blind we can be to the ways in which our lives collide with others. Mm. And the formal conceit is sort of enacting that um, mm -hmm. in a way that is um, sort of like choreographically, I think has the potential to be like kind of symphonic and sublime. I love that um, kind of theater. You know, if we do it rigorously, yeah. but you know, yeah. TBD. Um, so we'll see, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. so exciting. Yeah, we'll see. That's, I can't wait.